wasn't as close as the final score indicated. And this is not a bad football team. Coach Sagarin from Sagarin Ratings had them the most improved team since 1989. Well, David, I think they have done a great job up there. I think Tim Murphy and his staff's done a great job. But I, I read that and I saw before the game. I thought back to the '89 game we played up there, and we really had to play hard to win that game. And if they are the most approved football team, we have to be second. Because yeah. I think that uh, you know our football team really has improved much as this game last night. I guess as we take a look at this thing, that you have an argument for being the most improved team then, because you really did dominate this game. Here's Xavier Crawford on the uh, return of the kickoff. He gets it out to the uh, 30 or the 28-yard line, 29-yard line. That's a good return. Anytime we can get it out past the 20, we think we've done a great job. Steve Matthews out here in the flat to Isaac Bruce on the first play of the game. Number six, very fine football player for Cincinnati. And I know a lot of coaches thought this was one of the better tackling football teams uh, that they've played coming into this game. And uh, I think we're going to see here where uh, Larry Porter does a, does a great job of breaking some tackles in here to indicate that, that we are getting to be a much improved football team. Great block there by Leon Bosby to get Matthews out. He gets Copeland. Uh, Russell's fighting for extra yardage there. Here's, uh, here's Porter right here, right there, breaking a tackle, uh, you know, getting the extra yards, uh, you know, playing uh, really sharp, outstanding football. Here you can see it from the end zone. Great blocking there. Look at the, look at the hole, uh, the block by Bosby once again, breaking the tackle there, keeping the ball going north and south. 22 yards on that play, and you have to settle for a field goal as it finally stalls. This one's miss hit, yet it still goes 44 yards, and you lead 3-0 on your first possession. Welcome to the jungle. This is great. I'm, I, I'm really happy to see our students get behind the football team and, uh, and support us. Here comes uh, their running back, Small. You know, a week ago he had 233 yards and was the uh, independent player of the week this week. 77. Uh, 77 yards on 23 carries to give you a little indication of how well our defense really played. Here he is on the backside for about a five-yard gain. You're going to see a lot of great plays once again by our defense. This is Harp uh, hitting the guy, missing the guy out in the flat there, so forcing him into a kicking situation. Boy, here's a part of our football that's really starting to come on real good. Uh, our punt returns. That's Jeremy Williams there, who uh, our free safety uh, caught that ball in a safe punt. Larry Porter for four yards off the left side. Matthews back to pass. Uh, goes for the home run. Uh, they, well do good, they do a good job of covering that one. Right. Uh, here, Matthews just misses Terry Al over here in the uh, right flat, so we're forced to punt. Buffalo once again, uh, 46 yards, uh, average punting. Uh, does a great job, and our coverage is very good. I think we did have one breakdown, but you can see uh, that uh, for the most part of the football game, we did a great job. Jeff Sawyer timed that one beautiful. I was say, that was beautiful. Seven-yard sack there. Jeff played very, very well. A lot of great plays throughout the football game. Pressure. Of great yeah. plays. How about yeah. Barry Dillard? Here's yeah. a guy who's going to be a superstar. A star on the rise, and I think uh, right there. But there you can see once again uh, us converge on the pass once it's caught with a lot of blue, uh, blue jerseys around the ball. Now here's Russell Copen, right up the middle. Here he comes. Unfortunately, we have a penalty on this one. Uh, you know, he was eighth in the country last week. Who knows? This might have put him up very close to number one had this not been called back. But uh, we did have a, a holding penalty, and uh, it was brought back. I like the so, way he goes north and south. Yeah, there's Matthews going to his right, getting the ball out to um, Bruce, Bruce Isaac, uh, Isaac Bruce out in the flat. Uh, here, here's a great. Uh, it was a great catch and really oh. a great throw because uh, there was a guy defender in front of that. And Steve put the ball right where it had to be, and, and uh, Isaac made a, a great catch. Here's Larry Porter off the left side, cutting back. Good hole there. Ball in the blockers very well, doing a great job. Copeland out here, breaking some tackles, getting some extra yardage. Uh, you know, playing real, real sound, good football. There's uh, uh, up the, on the inside. That's Marcus, Marcus Holliday. Holliday. I right, get the ball down to the two-yard line, three-yard line, and here, here we see Bosby close, real Boy, close. I thought he almost yeah. snuck in. We come back again with the same play, and Leon tries to go over the top, doesn't get it, and then we're going to try Marcus here, and he's not going to. I think you have to give uh, the Bearcats a lot of credit there. They they played very well uh, this series of defensive downs. They really did, and so. The first quarter comes to a close, and it is still 3-0, but it will not be for long, I promise you that. Uh, here's Larry Porter right off the left side right now. He made that number 10, he made miss that tackle. He's a very, very fine tackler. Larry made him miss. You're going to see it right here. Uh, number 8 there and number 10 was just a little bit earlier. Both are really outstanding football players, but... Uh, Porter shows great speed there, and uh, eight seconds into the second stanza, and you're up now. 
ten nothing. Yeah, Allison has the extra. Joey Allison has the extra point. That was a 35-yarder. Uh, big play. That's one of the first ones we've had this year, and, and that's the, the stuff you really need in football. Great kickoff once again by Jeff Buffalo, about five, six yards deep in the end zone. How about this, Coach? Yeah. Oh, Danton Bartow, once again, out here in the flat, with the ball forced back on the 20-yard line. Uh, real alert defense. And you don't waste any time to capitalize right. on the Steve error. Steve Matthews does a great job of being flushed here, finding uh, Isaac Bruce in the end zone for the touchdown. So uh, that interception set us up for another touchdown, and uh, we responded. So that's good, sound, solid football. Now, not even two minutes into the quarter. Now it's suddenly 17. Look at nothing. The, look at the crowd there, Dave. We get the wave going. You know, it, it's uh, once again, it's, it's really great on the sideline to see all, to see all that uh, that enthusiasm and intensity. There's Larry Porter. Uh, we ran right in the teeth of the defense at that time. This was not a real good series for us right here. Then uh, Leon came back and, and got caught in our backfield. But here's a big play. Steve does a great job of uh, keeping the ball alive, dropping it off to uh, Larry uh, on this. He does a great, we come up one yard shy, and this is the place where the young man uh, got the, uh, the neck injury right here. And coach, there's a 25 minute delay, the ambulance comes onto the field, they have to bring him off in the stretcher, and I felt that the whole game, the flow, the attitude, everything changed after this. Well, when a young man doesn't move, and uh, you, know, you saw the shot of Larry Porter there, I'm sure he was very concerned because he is the guy that was carrying the ball. You don't know what goes through the minds of all your players at that point in time, but uh, I give our team a lot of credit because uh, they did come back from this and pick up the momentum once again. I was a little bit, a little bit concerned about that. Well, this is Cincinnati's best drive, and, yeah. and I almost feel like if you're a defensive player, you get a bit tentative after you see they, a, an injury like yeah, that. Yeah, possibly so, but once again, uh, Dave has a 25 minute uh, break. They do a nice job here on an 80 yard drive to, to get the ball in the end zone. And uh, they come up, I think, fourth and one. And uh, this is third and goal. We do a great job. Whoa. Probably going to stop there, as a matter of fact. Well, you just turned him around. That, right. that was really beautiful. Look at that. That's the replay. Right. Uh, and now finally they will punch the ball with small in right here. Right. He comes up over the top, finds a little crease there to get up over the top to, to score the touchdown. And you know, I, I think uh, our defense, once again, was. Really shooting for a shutout. Uh, uh, they felt like they, other than the kickoff return, had shut Arkansas, Arkansas out here a few weeks ago. So it's good to get a team that's playing for shutouts, you know, because that's going to keep you in the football game. You can see the stats here. More than 100 yards total yeah. offense, 17 to 10 on first downs. Right. Only thing close here, really, is time of possession, and you right. still have them. Two minutes, just about two minutes on yeah. time of possession. So that's that's that was a very good first half of football for us, and that was one of our goals was to come out. Uh, from the very get-go and play solid football and, and, and after a two-week layoff and we did that and I think that was a real real plus I think we've learned a lot uh, to be able to do that in, in a game of, of this type well, we said in the open, you know, a bye week can go one of two ways. It went your way for sure last night. And we'll take a look at the second half. Lots of big plays still coming your way, so stick around.